Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you're new, hi, hello, my name is Nicole Camello. Um, today's video is going to be a little different. So, as you can tell by the title, I ordered from Public Desire because I saw a pair of shoes and I just had to have them. And so today's video is going to be like my experience. So I did one a while ago with Boohoo, I will link it at the end of the video. And I will also link it down below. Oh, I'll put a card. I'll put a card in it. It's going to appear on this side of the screen. No. Yes. It's going to appear somewhere up here on the screen. So, um, I placed an order with Public Desire because I absolutely love their shoes. And I'm going to tell you a little bit of the experience and how everything happened and how they got into my hands finally so if you want to see the rest of this video then just keep on watching okay so how it happened was I saw a picture that public design posted of these shoes and I absolutely love them um, from the picture I absolutely fell in love and I just had to have them so I placed the order on the 7th of March at around 2 o'clock and um, on the 8th of March I got confirmation saying that my package had been dispatched so they sent it off on the 8th of March and so it was sh taken to the airport and from the airport to whatever however it goes it was shipped all the way to me and it took the time from the 8th of March all the way to the 26th of March that's only when it had arrived in South Africa um, in Joburg basically so it arrived at the Johannesburg International Mail Center on the 26th of March. So that time period was all the shipping or the airfare or whatever. And um, from Johannesburg International Mail Center, it went through to customs on the 28th in the morning and then came back from customs on the 3rd of April. And then from there, uh, it went back to the international, well it's actually in the same place, so it went back to the section where they now bring it towards me. So it was in transit from the 5th of April, um, it went to the Germiston uh, hub and then from, so on the 6th of April it went to the Germiston hub and then from the Germiston hub it went to the uh, Krugersdorp hub which was on the 10th of April. So it was in transit through that time period. And then from the Krugersdorp hub, it arrived at my local post office uh, yesterday. So yesterday was the 12th of, of April. So it arrived to me on the 12th, So, but it was in my hands on the 13th of April. So from the 8th, because I'm not including the day that I placed the order. So from the 8th to the 13th of April that's how long it took to get the package um, which is not bad it's like just over a month um, it's pretty standard waiting time I waited I think the same amount for Boohoo I have placed another order with Boohoo though so you will see that in another video it hasn't arrived yet I just placed the order so with ordering internationally I find that it's best to order in little chunks and I know it's expensive because you pay shipping for each little chunk and shipping roughly is a cost $13 or $13.99 which is 14 I think it's 13 though $13 for shipping which means you pay around 150 160 for shipping but when it comes to customs here in SA um, I believe they weigh your package in order to determine how much you pay for customs and all that stuff I'm not too sure what the technicalities are behind customs and everything like that but I believe they weigh your package so for my boohoo order I paid roughly the same amount for the jackets that I did customs so that that really sucked but for this it was a pair of shoes it is a pair of shoes from Public Desire it's pretty heavy it's like a decent amount of heaviness but I only paid a hundred bucks so I paid here's the receipt I paid 98 rand 77 cents in total for the whole package so it's not that bad I think I'm gonna do the same with like boohoo and everywhere that I shop online uh, internationally I'm gonna order in tiny chunks so that it's not like one big package because I know you pay more 
the heavier the package is. I believe that's how it works. So this one I went to go fetch because I kept calling because I got really impatient and I really wanted my package. So I called and they said, yeah, we received it. So this is how it looks. It's in a sleek black packet and it says public desire on it and has my address right here. <laughs> and yeah, it, this is showing that it's coming internationally and then there's a customs declaration. Um, yeah, so I wanted to unbox this with black. So I wanted to unbox this with you guys so we can experience the whole thing together. Alright, so that's enough to chat. Um, let's get into this packet because I'm super excited. Like, super excited. So first thing I saw was an invoice from Public Desire as well as a return form. So it's just a little form that you fill out if you want to return it, if it doesn't work out for you. It's going to work out for me. So the shoes I paid, uh, I paid through PayPal. So I paid about a hundred, uh, let me actually pull up the exact amount that I paid. Okay, so I have the receipt right here. Um, the shoes themselves cost £44.99. Shipping and handling cost Fifteen pounds, so for fourteen pounds and ninety-nine cents. So the total, the grand total, was sixty pounds. Which, if you exchange that to rands, it's about a thousand and some change. So let's do it. Sixty pounds. It's seven hundred. It's nine hundred and ninety-seven rand and eleven cents. But I paid through PayPal, and so PayPal obviously has to charge you for using their services so my total was a thousand and twenty six rand seventy two cents so that's the whole financial technical side I'm dying to see my shoes so this is the box the infamous public desire box so pretty is she not just the beaut I have to take some photos um so should I lift the lid with you? Should we see it together for the first time? Are they gonna hit me? Okay. Okay. So the lid has come off. The lid is a little damaged, but I'm guessing that's like, like from all the traveling and the handling and you know, whatever else. But it is pretty banged up. And then you open them. Oh my gosh! Okay, okay, okay. So this is the shoe. I'm gonna put the box down. So this is the shoe. Now, if you know me and you've seen the type of shoes that I like to wear, you know that this is just right up my alley. Look at them. Oh my gosh, they're so beautiful. These are actually like painful sole, like painful sole. How beautiful are these? These are high, you guys. Like this is no joke. Do you see that? These are like really high. Okay. How pretty. They're here. Hopefully they fit. They're in a size 6. So I got UK 6 which is my normal normal size when buying online internationally I guess. You know this model of new shoes? It has a small. I really like that small. I like the small of petrol too but Let's not get into that, okay? Okay, each shoe comes in its little bag that says Public Desire on it. And I'm actually obsessed. These look really, really pretty. Okay, so I just wanted to quickly mention that they don't have a zipper or anything. So this is how they look. I actually wanted to describe the shoe really quickly. So it's a platform heel, as you can tell. Really, really thick, chunky actual heel. It has this stretchy material over here. So that should like widen around your leg um, and then it's got studs it's literally lined with studs like all around and then it's lined with studs here at the bottom and then it's got these spikes and this, this whole artwork with these spikes right here in the front so they're stomp shoes okay these are the shoes you wear when you don't want anyone to mess with you and you want them to know that if they mess with you, they're going to get hurt. 
but you want to say it in the most polite way. You don't want to say anything, you wear these shoes and they know not to mess with you, okay? I love them, I love how they look. I can't wait to try them on, I'm gonna try them on right now, okay? Right now. Okay, so these are the shoes on. Uh, I can't get really close because I'm The whole fit looks really nice actually, but I can't show you because my cameraman just left. But yeah, these are the shoes. They fit. <laughs> Thank the Lord. They fit. Okay? The rubber. Is it rubber? No. It's, yeah, elastic. The elastic part stretches really well. Like, it's not that stiff. Like, I'm not moving, but I'm supposed to stretch type elastic. No, it's like a proper... Can you see that? Yeah, okay. So that's how that looks. I really like them. They're so tall. They're actually giant, okay? Um, and they're so cute. My mom, I, she just told me, she's like, Oh, so whoever's going to step on you is dead. And I'm like, no, they're not going to step on me. Because they know. I like them. They're not for everyone though. But I totally dig them. Can you see the shoes? I'm in a corner. Okay. Well, this is the fit. I like it. It's so cute. These jeans are from H&M. This is from Cotton On. There you go. All right, ladies and gentlefolk, that is today's video. I hope it was helpful if you're thinking about ordering from public desire but you're too scared or too nervous um they do fit they're quite snug because i have a fairly bigger foot than normal um i do wear a size five most of the time six sometimes uk six all the time when i'm buying overseas but my foot itself is flat and fat so if you don't have that problem Totally, go for it. I love them. I love how they look. Um, they'll probably stretch out a little bit as I wear them though, so I'm not too concerned. The elastic part is really, really stretchy, so that's amazing. But overall experience, it was pretty decent. It was okay. Love Public Desire. Love their shoes all the time. This was the first time I thought I have to, have to have those shoes. And I ordered and they got you pretty fine. It took a while, but they did. So that is all for today's video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe so you can get my videos sent to your subscription tab. You can also check me out on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. I'm very active on all three of those. I'm, I also have a Facebook page, so you can check that out too. It's just called Nicole Kamala YouTube. And... If you want to get a notification every time I publish a new video, just click on the little gray bell next to the subscribe button and that'll send you a notification when a video goes live. So that is it. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!